Looking for a plant that doesn't require much care, water, and will come back year after year? Let me show you one. You watched us design and build this house in 150 days, but the work is far from over. We're about to jump into my favorite part of the process of bringing all this together. Join me for an exclusive look right here on eHow Home. We're trying to get the landscape planted and I want to do it as economically as possible. I want to make sure that we're choosing things that are going to be easy to care for and play into our whole green idea here. One of the best things to use, of course, is a native grass or a native plant, even, from your area. Now, this is switchgrass, which I just love. It's got an amazing sort of texture to it, and it has these inflorescence in the fall, which I think are just so gorgeous. You don't need to worry about these little seeds because they're sterile. This grass actually clumps from the base. This one is called Dust Devil, and I love its sort of gray-green leaf. These are nice, big pots of it. What we're going to do is we're going to group these together. I like to see grasses planted in a mass like this. If you look at the top of the pot, you can see how this grass clumps, how firm and rigid it is. What I like about that is that this grass will actually stay uh, upright through the winter. It's so beautiful, frost on it and even snow. Now, as I mentioned, this particular cultivar of panicum or switchgrass is called dust devil. But take a look at this one. This one is called Cheyenne Skies. Again, another switchgrass, a panicum. Uh, but what's different about it, it's slightly lower, it's a little looser, and look at these red tips, a beautiful sort of burgundy tip on the edge of each blade of the grass. I think it's very ornamental. What's wonderful about these grasses is they add such texture and movement to the landscape, and they're drought tolerant during these times when we never know when we're gonna get a rain and there are water rationings going on all over the country, you need to think smart and choose plants that don't require a lot of these natural resources. So ornamental grasses, well, they're a perfect choice. And there's so many of them to choose from. No matter where you live, there's an ornamental grass that will work for you. Hey, if you're finding these tips helpful, check in with us regularly. This landscape will be coming together over time and I want you to check back with me. And make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.